Hey Taurus, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, April 20th. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. At the heart of your reading, we have the Six of Cups reversed. So we're talking about looking at something from the past with a clearer perspective, a more realistic perspective, whereas previously you may have idealized the situation or been wishing and hoping that you could go back to it, like um, very nostalgic vibes. But it's something that's been on your mind and you're starting to realize how how you've been um, wearing those rose-tinted glasses. Your challenge is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Lack of communication, lack of connection. This could be a childhood friend, childhood sweetheart, or someone you feel is your soulmate. You would likely be um, in a no contact situation with them right now. Your focus is the Four of Wands in reverse. This is either saying that you don't want you don't want to see them. You don't want to go to, you don't want to attend an event where they're going to be, or you're going to be at an event and they're not going to be there and that makes you upset. We could also be talking about um, this is someone that you have uh, broken up with or divorced. Show me the recent past. Everything was good in the recent past. Ten of Pentacles. You have your life set up the way that you want it. You have more than enough money to pay for the lifestyle that you want. Your living situation is good. The energy of the environment is the Nine of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Wanting to find a way out of something before it's over. Aries just had this, and it, I'm getting the same energy off of this. You may um, be in the same environment as an Aries. looking for an early ending to something. Wow. In the near future, we have Strength, which is the same uh, card that Aries just got in the same position. Um, two in a row. That's pretty... That's pretty low odds for that to happen. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna say that this reading is likely for a Taurus who either has strong Aries placements or is dealing with an Aries quite strongly in their life right now. Um, in the near future, we have strength, which is indicating perseverance, being able to tough it out, make it through something difficult. Show me, okay, the surprise energy is the Six of Wands in reverse. This is either not getting the recognition that you expect or not getting the success that you expect. What's 
going on here with the Six of Wands. Page of Swords reversed. We're still talking about the lack of communication. Um, so uh, since things seem to be going pretty well for you, the Ten of Pentacles showing up here, it's possible that you've recently experienced some sort of success and you're, you would expect this person that you're thinking of with this Six of Cups energy to reach out and congratulate you or support you or say, um, hey, I heard about this event to celebrate your success and I'd really love to be there, um, but you're not hearing from them. And so it, it feels like you're not getting what you want and you're not getting the recognition that you expected from them. Your hopes and fears, we have the Hermit in reverse. I'm getting that you actually want someone else to come out of seclusion or isolation. You feel like they're, they're inaccessible. Show me the end result, please. Eight of Swords. So you're not going to be able to find a way out early. This Nine of Wands reversed is seeking an early exit. The Eight of Swords tells us that you're going to feel stuck until the commitment is completed. And then you get your Ten of Swords, which is, okay, I, now I can finally accept that it's over. Give me more on the Eight of Swords. It's all down to timing. Wheel of Fortune. This played prominent, prominently in the Aries reading as well. I would invite you guys, if this is resonating for you at all, watch that um, Aries reading for today. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune does talk about moving on, about completing the cycle, but it won't come until after you've gone through a period of not seeing a way out. It shouldn't last too long. And I think it's it's really directly talking to the Nine of Wands, which is trying to figure out a way to get out of something before your obligation or commitment has been fulfilled. Or that someone else is seeking that since especially since we did see that come up in Aries reading if that might be them seeking it from from you somehow your advice is the ace of cups in reverse be wary of attempts at reconciliation if you have anyone reaching out to you right now and making some sort of um, like halfway apology, if it seems halfway, just investigate before you really engage with that person because there's a chance here with the reversal of the Ace of Cups that it's insincere. So depending on, on the importance of what they're asking for and their appeal to you, what that would mean, and what you'd have to agree to. Um, just feel it out a bit more. Don't don't be too quick to accept any sort of half-hearted or um, like if if someone expresses himself in a very short like not a lot of words. Don't assume that they mean what you think they mean. Because there, there's likely a lot more to the story. If you agree too quickly, you might be agreeing to something that you, you don't actually want. <clears throat> so Taurus, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.